dancing for me and up. Shocky, shocky, me say, I got, I got baby dancing for me and dab. That's right, shocky, shocky. Dance it for me and dab. God, Yuji is in the building. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bonjour. Hello, how are you? It's I'm been busy. forever. I know, you don't love me no more. Oh no, you're too busy. He's nah, like a superstar man. now, nah, touring the, the world. don't love me, guys. Don't listen to him. Literally, her, he walked into the room. He's like, straight after this, I'm getting on a flight to France. <laughs> that, that I'm out of here. How I said it. <laughs> so, Yuji, yeah. for people who have been living under a rock, yeah. people who have not seen like the rise and rise, yeah. introduce yourself. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I go by the name of Yuji Official. And yeah, I'm one of the two people that brought you the Dance For Me song. Shocky Shocky Al Qaeda in Dab. And you know what's really like weird is that I remember when you and Easy yeah. came to the BBC yeah. building yeah. to talk about this track. Yeah. And it went, it just, it, it, just, it? it just, it blew up. It just it blew up so massively. It like, was mad. When you were making this track, like, did you guys expect it to be what it became? I think of all the songs like I ever written, this song, the minute that, even before we'd recorded it, when I wrote like the hook and stuff, I called Easy at like six, seven in the morning. And I said to him, listen, this song is gone. I just, I couldn't anticipate it was going to be as big as it was, but I knew it was going to do something. Um, so every, everything that's happened is just, it's just crazy. It's mental it's as well crazy. because when you go out now, yeah. like, it's about, has it been over a year since yeah. it dropped? It yeah, it's April last year. And, and every, it's still playing. Because at One Africa Fair, so on Saturday, um, Wembley SSE yeah. Arena, there was a massive festival, yeah. had the likes of Flavor, yeah. yeah. um, Davido, yeah. Techno, yeah. basically it's, everyone was yeah. there. And you performed yeah. that track, didn't you? Yes, I did. And the reception. I always, I always judge how good the performance is going to be on how they react when the song starts playing. Mm. The intro came on and then literally everyone starts screaming. I was like, okay, so you don't know the song like that. So it makes my job easy. So was it like a rewind yeah, moment? Yeah, we had to reload. And it's like <laughs> one of the few Afrobeat songs I know that they reload, like a grime song. They oh, always pull it wow. up and wheel it. But yeah, we love that, man. So be, so with Dance For Me, nah. that's a kind of party turn up banger. But yeah. you and Easy have worked on a couple of tracks. Yeah, we have. Um, and Easy, like... Easy is the favourite. He's not a favourite, yeah. is he? He's the favourite. As, favorite. Soon, as soon as you mention him, everyone's yeah. like, oh my God, Mr. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. But you guys did a track yeah. called Body. Yeah. Do you know what, how <laughs> amazing that tune is? Thank you, thank you, thank is it like, so with Body, it was such yeah. a big switch. Yeah. So that was more soulful. That was yeah. a bit more like R&B. That was yeah. Yuji singing. That was vibes. Like that was more for, you know, like when you're chilling in the car, driving, late night motorway drive. You just want to vibe, then that's the, that's the kind of song that was for. So not no hype, just relaxing and that. So how did you go from there to dance for me? Um, so we know we had given them the, the ladies song, you know, the okay. song that you can chill with your wifey to, and then we thought we have to give them one for the clubs as well. Um, but we didn't actually plan anything like that, because um, Big Up Team Salute, by the way, they always send us beats and stuff. So when we hear the beats, um, I always try and think, you know, what's the best we can get out of it and what we can do with it. So when they sent me those two beats, the, the, the only person I thought of to throw in those songs was Mr. Easy. And mentioning Team Salute, they yeah. seem to be the wonder producers yeah, right they're, now. They're the best. Man. Like, if they're not on your project, your project no, probably won't be popping. Like, I mean, big up Malik Berry, that's one of my brothers as well. He's, these are elite people, Malik Berry, Team Salute, uh, Mike's Pro. These are my favourite you know, top three producers. And um, we're going to get into the new project in a bit, yep. but I kind of want to take it back. Take it back to the, the track for the ladies. <laughs> yeah. So do you know what, do you want to do the honours and yes. introduce this? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is Body by myself, UG Official featuring Mr. Easy. <laughs> Sounds of Body, live on Radar Radio with the Soul Diaries. Nikita here, of course, at Radar Radio LDN. If you want to get in touch with UG Official, <laughs> you can't say your name like, without saying that, can you? I, know, I don't even mind it. Do you get it all I the time? Yeah, all the time, all the time. I don't mind. It's like... Do you know who gave me that, 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 that slogan? Easy, you know. <laughs> I was gonna say it sounds so easy. <laughs> just it like, it's something he'll just like be on the mic. Yeah, that's like, yeah, that's what he did. Off. Literally, he just called my name, like my Instagram name, on the track, and he put it on the track like that, and I'm just because that was my Instagram. And it stopped. Yeah, that's it. Look at so, easy. Yeah. He just branding. Easy, he does easy. everything. Life is literally <laughs> easy. Um, have you ever thought about re-releasing that track? Um, body. Yeah. I would like to, um, but I just find I want to build more of a buzz and then, yeah, then I'll pay, obviously I'll pay, I don't care, I'll just get it out there more, because I, I know it can be bigger than what it is. Because yeah. I feel like that track, there's something about it, yeah. and it's the way you switch, like, from, like, the Afrobeat influence straight into, like, the R&B yeah. and soul flavours, yeah. like, yeah. is that something that comes easy to you when you're in the studio? Yeah, because, um, obviously, when I, I grew up in the church anyway, um, so playing instruments and stuff like gospel music and stuff like that, um, and I was, like, an R&B singer before. So before I even turned to do rapping and all that, I was singing. So that's the kind of thing that I have in me. So when I go to studio, sometimes I, I'm conflicted because I don't know if I'm going to sing or I'm going to rap. 
Um, but yeah, something that's just deep in, deeply rooted in me. I love doing it, man. And who kind of like influences you in the R&B scene and soulful kind of scene? Uh, Asha was dope coming up. Uh, I like breezy stuff. Um, there's a gospel singer called Jay Moss. I think he's really dope. Malik Berry, I think he's epic, uh, vocally and songwriting wise. Easy. Um, Wiz, I mean, all the guys are out there now, but you know, like the older lot, like Luther Vandross. Um, there's a singer called Kim Burrell. There's loads of people that influence me. And obviously, my favorite artist of all time, B.I.G., Biggie Smalls. Oh, nice. There's some amazing names yeah. there. Um, so, you kind of like you've been part you've seen the like uk afrobeat scene grow mm -hmm. and grow and now mm -hmm. you've seen like the whole afrobeat scene like keep rising yep. and rising yep. how is it for someone like yourself yeah. who's been doing that yeah. doing like the rapping yeah. singing to see the growth it's crazy um obviously i've got big up like mr silver qualms and flavor mo logo um those guys that were pioneering before you know we kind of landed on the uk mm. afro scene um and it's crazy because I, I keep saying to people when we're younger Everyone was embarrassed to be African. Uh, so I used to go to school and I used to pretend I was Jamaican. And I'm, I'm Ghanaian, but I still was Jamaican. Because if you're Ghanaian or Nigerian, it was not embarrassing, but no one really bigged it up. But obviously it's nice to see now that you can actually be proud from coming from you know, Africa. And to even to see the fact that people actually embracing our sounds and our music like this, I never thought I'd see it. Um, so it's really inspiring and it's motivating. Um, and it makes my ambition even, even greater, man. I think it's amazing because like, obviously I'm, Indian from an yep. Indian background yep. and it's the same sort of thing yep. like I was having this conversation with my friend and when you're at school you're a little bit embarrassed yeah. to kind of maybe going to <laughs> I don't school know why that you, is though yeah, I don't so, know why it is I don't, I don't know why but I was like now it's kind of trendy yeah. to wear like those sort of, those sort of yeah, longer yeah, tops yeah, that you wear back home now, and yeah. things like that and like and the younger generation yeah. is so confident yeah, in making it yeah. cool yeah. again they really switched things up man they switched up what we couldn't do they're really doing it now so. and it's amazing to see and I think if anything the music that you guys are making mm. is just enhancing that yeah so you've got a project coming yes i have flavors so tell us a little bit about that um so yeah uh i haven't actually put out a body of work since i've been you know dropping music and i thought it was about time that i dropped something just to kind of show my identity to people i've done lots of features but i just wanted to give them you know a piece of me um and the reason i called it flavors because i feel like there's a song on there for everybody you might listen to six all six of the songs and you might only like one um but at least you found one on there that you like that's why i call it flavors the different flavors on there for anybody who's listening do you find, do you ever have that like nervous feeling that because you're trying to make some, because you're trying to make different flavors, like yeah, you said there, yeah. that, oh, what if like I'm trying to do too, too much, much or I'm trying to reach. One thing I didn't do with this EP was I didn't force it. Yeah. So I, we tried several songs. Yeah. We went and recorded. Some of the songs did not make it onto the EP because I just felt like we don't want it to be too forced. So it, all the songs are on there um, literally happened so naturally. Literally walk in the studio, you hear the beat. Within five, ten minutes, the songs are done. Um, so everything is natural and. You're gonna love it. I know. I know you'll love it. I've heard it. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna, I've heard it. What do you think? What do you think? I'll, well, I've already asked. Yeah. I've already said. Today we're gonna premiere. Are we an premier? exclusive. See, we've got an exclusive. Just for Nikita, you know. I was literally like, I like this song. Can I play it? <laughs> Please. Yes. Um, but before we get into stuff off the yeah. new EP, yeah. I want to take it back to last year. Yeah. And I want to take it back to this collaboration in particular because yeah. it's got Stone Boy on, and I think Stone Boy <laughs> is so brilliant. Yeah, okay. He's another epic guy. The um, energy he has on stage. Ridiculous. And he can sing live like really well as well, which is what surprised me. I know there's a lot of artists that they can't, but he's epic live as well. It's crazy, man. So before we get into this track, yep. tell us how this came about, because this is a worldwide collaboration. It's crazy. Um, so obviously, big up DJ Jules. I forgot to even mention Jules before. That's one of the bad boy producers out there. Jules is like my family. So Jules said he had a collaboration there lined up with Malik Berry and with Stoneboy. Um, and he said he wanted me to jump on it. And obviously, I was never going to turn down that lineup. So this song came about last summer. We were all enjoying the weather. So it literally spoke, you know, um, what we were doing into existence. And do you know what's really nice about this song? Like the video, yeah. you like little cartoon, <laughs> cartoon characters. Yeah. characters. And then some of you are on the phone, like each of you had your moment yeah, in that video. Yeah, yeah. If you haven't seen the video, go check it out. But right about now, we're going to get in to Jules Baby. Jules Baby. <laughs> Featuring Malik Berry, <laughs> Stoneboy and Yuji. This is With You. That's the sounds of With You. Jules featuring Malik Berry, Stoneboy and Yuji. If you haven't checked that video out, go check it out. It's one of those fun videos. Was it fun to make? Yeah, it was, it was so fun, man. Um, we shot, I think, half of it in Chelsea. And then Jules didn't let us know what was going to happen with the other half. He kept trying to keep it secret and a surprise. 
and it was definitely worth the wait. When I saw myself as a cartoon, I was like, oh, sh- I, I need a TV show. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I need a cartoon series out. What man. would you call it? If you had a cartoon series, what would you call it? The official series. Oh. I'm joking. I didn't even <laughs> thought about it. <laughs> Captain Yuji. <laughs> There'll be too many. It'll be Yuji official, Captain <laughs> exactly. Yuji. Um, that track, yeah. when Stone Boy kicked in, it was both like, that's such a vibe. Vibes. So we've spoken about the UK scene, yeah. like who's influencing you across the board? It doesn't have to just be Afrobeats, yeah. but across the board yeah. internationally yeah. right now. Um, one person that really influenced me was uh, Vibes Cartel. Um, I know he's in prison and locked up. I didn't even used to like Bashman or Still dance, making so music though, I know, you know. But when, I, when I started listening to the Vibes, I was like, yeah, this is mad. Um, so we've got him, obviously Drizzy, um, who else have we got that I really, really listen to? Booba in France. That Konami, yeah. oh my god. <laughs> Booba, yeah. Booba's Wavy, Kalash. Um, yeah, there's quite a few people. Obviously, the Ghanaian people, we have Sark. That's like one of my greatest idols. Stone Boy, Shatawale. Um, Nigeria, you've got, you know, the Davido. So I, I take influence from everywhere. I listen to a lot of music, man. I, I can hear yeah. it. Do you know what? I only know, all, like, when you mentioned Booba, I only yeah. know because the Afro boss, yes, DJ Edu, yeah. who is across the whole he, continent. Yeah, he, Edu knows everything. <laughs> Literally everything. <laughs> everything. You could play like two seconds of track, oh, that sample yeah, yeah, by yeah, da 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 And I'm like, where do you store yeah, all this crazy. information? He's crazy. It's he's mental, crazy. isn't it? He's crazy. But yeah, Booba Booba is definitely one of the dope ones out there, man. And if you were wanting to work, would you, would you work with Booba? 100, 100%. Him, MHD, Kalash, I'm there. I'm going, that's why I'm going France, don't worry. Oh, is that right? Yeah, yeah, two fan? Two fan is epic. Epic, epic. Okay, so let's take it back to the project. Yeah. Like, it's coming out soon. What's yep. it? Twenty six. Twenty six. So yeah. that's next Friday. And you dropping that? Are you doing anything to celebrate? We're gonna it? do a launch party, private location. Obviously, Nikita is gonna be there, so she'll be reporting live to you guys <laughs> or reporting back to you guys. But it's gonna be lit. It's gonna be. Okay. It's gonna be an evening, a, a day to evening of fun. I just want everyone to come out and vibe and just enjoy the music. Man. And um, there's a track on here that yep. you did with someone who was over in the UK not so long ago, yep. and he's. Right now, he's like one of the most played artists yeah, in Nigeria. Talk, t- talk about this track. Yeah, so this song is called Give It To Me. Um, big up my brother YC from Nigeria. This guy is dope. So obviously he came over to the UK and he hit me up. Um, so we've actually got quite, I think it was like three songs we've got together. Um, so I jumped on one of his songs and I was like, yo, I'm going to drag you to Team Salute. So I took him there and this is what we did. And he went in the booth. He did not write one word. He literally freestyled the whole flow and then went back in and just put words in the, f- he's mad. He's a mad, he's a mad musician. So. He's really in it as oh, well. He's, he's such a wavy guy, man. He's such a wavy guy. So, so do you want to introduce this one from your new forthcoming EP? Yes, this is from Flavors EP. This is Give It To Me, UG featuring YC. Sounds of UG official featuring YC taking from the forthcoming project Flavors coming out 26th of May. UG is live in the studio. Yes, yeah, so I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. So um, whilst that track was playing, you dropped a little bit of a fact there. A little bit of a bomb, <laughs> not a fact. <laughs> so you were meant to be on YC's Juice that yeah. is out right now. Yeah. What happened? Um, so at that time we was on we were on tour with Gecko around the UK and I couldn't find the time. Firstly, I'm gonna put my hands up and say I wasn't being serious about it. Oh, yeah. Secondly, I didn't make enough time to go to the studio to record my verse for that song. And YC gave me so many opportunities and I didn't do it. So, you know, sometimes you just have to take the L. This is a capital L that I've taken for that, that song, seriously. In the words of Big Sean, you're going to try and bounce yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, I got to <laughs> bounce back. <laughs> bounce back. Um, that would have been amazing, though. Yeah, epic. But even with that, come on, that tune is mad. I don't, it doesn't need anything else. That tune is crazy. It's really random. I was playing out last week and I was like, let me just, because you know, you're like, I don't know if people here we'll will like know it, that yeah. some people will know it. <laughs> yeah, unless you, and I was like, let me just play it. And like, all of a sudden, people are just getting up and vibing. Nah, and I was like, yeah, the there's song. something about it. You can't sit down, you can't sit still to that song, no way. And no it's way. just, and it catches you. Yep. And I was watching that like, Arsenal fan TV and there's like guys like, there was too much just juice, just too, too much, much sauce <laughs> on the pitch. See, even they do. So it's, it's crazy. mad. Yeah, it's crazy it's mental. Crazy.